years ago, back in 2015, it was Pangea Seed Foundation's first time to visit the island of Cozumel to paint for a purpose. We highlighted issues such as overfishing, coral bleaching, coastal development, and plastic pollution through the creation of close to 40 murals. We hope that the creation of these 20 new murals is going to stir up some conversation and empower the community to act to become more sustainable island residents. So when you arrive in a beautiful place like Cozumel and uh, you see the really turquoise blue water and the really beautiful environment, you just sort of assume that the, the waters are just teeming with life. And once we, we took a snorkel to see this, this reef conservation project, it was really sad to, to see how much life has been lost uh, off the waters here, uh, but also enlightening and, and on a positive note to see that it is possible to bring back these corals and these, and these ecosystems. Even though we have a very uh, responsible community uh, regarding you know, environmental protection, there are still a lot, a lot of people that don't know about endemic species or the local problems that we have. So it was very important to use art as a tool or as a vehicle to try to promote, um, you know, the, the good things that, are, that we have. Llevo 10 años en, en, en la zona y, y de esos 10 años llevo 8 años buceando constantemente y, y se está acabando. O sea, realmente se ve, se ve un mar más vacío, se ve un mar, este, cada vez se ven menos peces de tallas grandes, ¿no? incluso medianas. Este, cada vez hay más gente. Podremos hablar de, de diferentes tipos de turismo, eh, de derrama económica, ¿no? o de la producción, al, algún producto ¿no? como tal, o artesanos, pero la esencia eh, es el océano, ¿no? la esencia es la madre tierra y, y si no lo cuidamos, pues no hay nada más. Que no podemos seguir con prácticas eh, del día a día de eh, la industria eh, del buceo, del escuba, así como también en la misma pesca y en general en todo el turismo, eh, tenemos que cambiar nuestro accionar, nuestro, nuestra labor diaria y diaria y nuestra convivencia con el océano, eh, porque si no, no vamos a poder mantener eh, parte de esta riqueza natural de la que gozamos y sobre todo no vamos a poder pasar a las siguientes generaciones estas bellezas naturales. I think art is an important communication tool to talk about ocean conservation and uh, ocean awareness because it gives artists and people an opportunity to create something at a much deeper, more emotional level than just informational level. I think that people get, a, they get attracted to techniques and style and color and eventually come away with a message in a deeper way that, that kind of hits. We had a chance to meet with a marine biologist and he talked to us a lot about his experience and his long-range view of the damage that's been happening to the coral reefs um, over his 30 years on the island. Um, and he gave us some pretty impassioned um, information about conservation and what's being lost. It's a privilege to live in Cozumel. It's a privilege to have these reefs. It's a privilege to have the only island in all Mexico that it has a jungle where we have 542 different species of trees, you know, not to come, take it down and put bougainvilleas and framboyans. You know, we have to be proud of what we have and we have to preserve it. So take care of the reefs, take care of, the, uh, of not throwing your trash and take care of your jungle, take care of the island because it's the only one we have. And if we don't take care of it ourselves, nobody else will because everybody else wants to come to see how much they're gonna get out of it. So let's wake up and smell the coffee. Thank you.
Thank you. 